Some sort of garbage tension and sort of escapes because nature oh, and then, as you try being and long and you know limmy really once the space is gone go it's hard to get I'm back so, yeah you can garbage yeah, tension I won't throw me over the other way and you fought over the top this way come back up and then look if you're able to uh, pedal the foot over the top, then that gives you a lot of space. I'll show you like a, it'll be off the top of the half bar, but I'll show you one that we use down there, which is quite nice after Ian's had a go at that. Just to re all the guard, you can even threaten an, uh, an arm bar from it. When you, if they put it in side control, so one of the most effective ways I've found of regaining guard. Threaten the submission a lot of the time, they back away from the submission, and you just get a that as a consolation, but that's what you wanted anyway. As well, both at the same time almost. This knee wants is your time to legs up more offensive or defensive. You're trying to get back to neutral and start to punch in. Proactively attack when you're on the tent. It depends on their reaction. It depends on their reaction. Sometimes when you start to regain yeah, guard, they want to try and clamp you down and hold their dominant position, and that can feed this into submission. Other times they accept the lost position, they back away, and I end up more in a neutral guard position. Yeah, go straight to it. It kind of, yeah, it just depends on how they react. A lot of the time, it's not when you do like a straight arm to a, to a book scoop. Yeah. A lot of the time, them pushing back really into you, trying to hold you down, is what actually takes you out from underneath them, isn't it? Whereas if they didn't push back down into you, then you just, they're, they're not, no longer on top of you anyway, so you don't even need to use the escape. But that's what might happen sometimes. They feel that arm lock out in their, in their armpit, and they think, oh, he's gone, I'm not going to. Yeah, need to set or waste, waste energy try and hold him down when I've got to accept I've lost the position. Go sort of, more nice. sort of a, a frame and scoot away to try to get an angle. Yeah. As opposed to just sort of, I don't know. Rather than trying to force the reversal, I see how they, how they react. Yeah. Most of my guard attention comes from just attacking like leg locks, things like that, so they sort of put them off that momentum. But again, you still get the people quite athletic, quite sort of... Brute force and real it's, a, it's a thing though, yeah, sometimes yeah, a guy with has got like, good yeah, yeah. genetics yeah. and athleticism, yeah. they can shut down a lot of your technique yeah. by just being wild and yeah. unorthodox, yeah. do you know what I mean? Yeah. Look, see, that's what's stopping you, I think, because you're bringing this foot there. Which is when you need to find yeah. I mean, them control the, the hips, put the, keep the, all the principles and keep the shoulders on the mat, misalign their spine, take away what makes them strong, neutralise their core, essentially. When you're rolling with someone, someone new, foot, do you look for way. mistakes they're making in their posture, things like that, that? is it a positional thing, yeah. is it your Bring game, what's your, your first thing, I want my knee that way, so I guess it's when I'm rolling, well, so if we were to roll now, you know what's the first thing you're looking so, for, is it your direct yeah, attack, is it my weaknesses, my mistakes, what's your direct attack, I just go in with my game, my A game and see where it got me and see how you react and see what branches I take from my A game as to where we'd end up, what submissions, what sweeps I'd attempt to hit if depending on how you were reacting. It's, it's totally, it's like some of the MMA roles, guys roll down here is a lot different to how some of the sports jiu-jitsu guys roll. And I've had a lot of jiu-jitsu guys come in, like my friends and stuff like that, from just train straight jiu-jitsu, they come in here, and then they're not getting wound up, but it's a different thing for them to try and get their head around when they get to it, the guy that's stay on the floor, he's trying to get back up, trying to fight to the top it's position, and that's what I'm always trying to drill into him here. We don't just escape yeah, to guard, we yeah. escape yeah. to a total reversal and get back up on top. Bang, Obviously, we love guard and I appreciate like the danger you can put someone in with a good hellfire guard type of thing. But just tug a war and you've gone from losing to neutral. That's, that's it. You don't want it. Well, like, we, you're like we spoke about, it, once you're on bottom, you're perceived as losing until you're winning. Exactly. That. I'll show you this guard retention. I know it's a little bit off topic, so I'm just going to show him that goal. So yep. not, we're going away from the half guard for a mm. minute, just because Dan mentioned about this. So. And again, th this elbow thing I like. I'm going to go over two escapes here, okay? I'm going to go over two different escapes. One, um, it's more of a reversal, and the other is a guard retention. So, from here, I need to establish some solid frames. Like th these, th these sorts of frames here, where it's just the wrist. They're no, they're no good, really. Like, he can start to collapse me here and cause me a lot of trouble. Mm. These are frames. And sometimes to establish them, what I found has helped me a lot, which my coach Kev showed me is the shoulder walk, okay? So if you feel like you're getting sucked up a bit on top, mm. just this shoulder walk here yeah. can sort a lot of things out to re-establish those frames. Now from here, I like to go with a C-grip in the armpit and I'm keeping a solid frame here across the, the with the forearm across the throat here. And I want to ideally bury this elbow on the inside of this elbow here. Mm. 
but a lot of the time, if he's tight to me, I can't just force this in here. So I need to get him off balance. Now, I could potentially caveman roll him over this way, but most of the time he's gonna react, he's gonna base out. So we get this pendulum going here and then I force him and look, he's gonna post. But that's all I wanted anyway, to get this elbow to the armpit. Now when I bridge back the other way, I can come out the back door quite easily. Again, with what I'm gonna show you just here. Because this is, the, 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 we'll go over that just one more time. As I'm coming here and I'm getting into base, this way, if I just try and punch this underhook in, he can hug me to the mat. Mm. Whereas this elbow detail I've found has really helped me here because when I've got him to base, if he tries to hold me down, that elbow is very effective in holding him above me. Also, sorry, no, back to side control. Oh, right? yeah. Also, if he doesn't react with like a big post like that, that's mm. a very over a dramatic post, we can get my guard retention, okay? So if he tends to block me more with like a right angled elbow at the hip, so show him what I mean, Kieran, he blocks me more like that. Yeah, trying to stay on top of you. That's it. Then this is when the guard retention works. So I'm gonna use the same mechanics as coming back here, starting to pendulum, and then when I go, he blocks, but now I'm bridging up and I wanna get my bottom leg underneath as I throw my top leg over, I can attack this mm. arm lock. If he pulls the arm out, I'm back to my guard. So a, a threat of a submission to get him to back away and regain your guard. So again, if I'm here, I'm firing him over in this direction and then I'm bridging back. And just look, throwing that over. So you've still got that fixed frame still. You've got in. the fixed You're frame. Detaching and, and reattaching, you kept the same. I'm thing. reinforcing it, aren't I, with my mm. legs? And then I can either, at the very worst, disengage or threaten the armbar. Because mm. with that armbar, I've caught that a few times in rolling, not I've never caught it in competition or anything like that, but yeah. in rolling, when I've come here and I tap that, it's a nice little sub mm. sometimes. If they do try and stay down, do you know what I mean? They don't like you mm. getting out from underneath, a little bit of naivety maybe of the danger they're in. That armbar's there for the taking. I don't know if you wanted to have a little bit yeah, of that. Yeah, with that as well, that kind of armbar from the side control is like a counter thing. Where I used to always struggle with it, come on me, so. so we're here. I used to see the sort of Frasa Harvey one where you sort of roll it down, bump up and go straight away for it. Yeah. But I always found it was a bit of a, you get it on the less experienced guys, they sort of squish those frames. Because what you're saying there with that, I really like, because again, like having your good frames in still getting squished is a bit of a strange one. So with your frame you've got, let's come around a little bit to the camera too, but look. So I'm used to having quite tight frames there. Are you saying go more just elbow? Yeah, like you, you want, want the, the blade of the forearm rather than just your wrist. Okay, because that is quite flimsy, won't it? Yeah. You fix that. Because if, if Kieran now, if you've just got the blade of your wrist. So now we're here. Uh, you want to launch me first. Oh, yeah, you want to push him with that. that, that, that it, yeah. There. So then, then get the that frame. elbow to his far armpit. Oh, is you going for the armbar? You going for the oh, armbar? I was either or more, it's just more the reaction. So if he bases on the, the hip like that, the armbar's on, mm. okay? So. So again, well, how do you want me to react? You show me. So I'm going on. You see here, now you're going to bump, you can come out that way, or you can throw your bottom leg, you've got to elevate your hips, bring your knee between you and him and throw your top leg over, and okay. go to attack the arm bar. So... Wet. Yeah, nice. nice. Basically. And if he pulls the arm out and you're able to control him, you've got an inverted triangle there yeah, as well. Yeah, I was going to say, that's quite nice. Um, like count yeah, because that reverse triangle game is something we're working on. I'm out. I like to control this yeah, arm here um, and, and do this. But if he blasts away from me really hard, a lot of the time we're just going to go back to our guard. Like, it's hard. If, if, if he's got a, a good grappling game, I don't find that they'll have their posture broken in that position. Now, if they're going to go away, they're going to go away hard sort of thing. So. If you can't tie him up, then just accept your guard back. It's better than being in side control, isn't it? Rather than maybe neutral, chasing yeah. a submission and the mending back up on top of you sort of thing. I like that a lot. Take a shot, Ian. Do you want to have a go? Can go with the armbar one again, just so I can see that again? So, frame in the armpit, frame a bit higher than normal. Swing, oh. swing, oh. and launch. And then the bridge. The gap there. Oh, I'm going to wrap that tight. Nice. Yeah, because otherwise the hips connect so I can't trip out, whereas it's space. Show me one more time, mate. 
a little bit slow. Yeah. So you've got the C cup from the back and you, you dig it right in. Whenever I want to go, it's a full oh. as well, get reaction. Oh, yeah. Now there's a space here, so all I'm doing, with the same frame, is bumping up, dropping and shooting it. Oh. And if you kick the, bring this arm out. Oh. That's what that is. All the rest of it. Razzle dazzle, because we can't. Razzle dazzle, it's 